Welcome back to Josiah Plays, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Got some revolver ammo. I'm here in uh, Isaiah Sandoval's little little base here, and I'm going to read his, these other two ebooks laying around. Here's a uh, piece from No Better, The Myth of Human Augmentation by William Taggart. I find myself returning to a story that touched my life. A story about Ezekiel, a young man torn apart by the trauma of augmentation. A man I was lucky enough to be able to help. Ezekiel was a marine who had been severely wounded in the Gulf. Believing he had something to prove, he asked to be augmented and returned to duty. But when his tour was over, the shock of his changed self sent him into a spiral of despair. He looked for death back home, and there our paths crossed. I was able to turn him around to convince him to have his augmentations removed. After recovering in a humanity front clinic, Ezekiel was able to return to the man he'd once been and became a model case for our group's beliefs. He was truly healed. Yeah, and I found him with his gun to a lady's head, running terrorists, killing people, trying to kill me. You, he was so healed. Really, that was the man, that was the man he was meant to be. Great. Here's one more ebook. Practical Shootist Monthly. Featured in this month's hard-packed edition, we review the latest iteration of a classic, the Stasiak Arms Expo Compound Crossbow System, and we ask if the silent kill is truly the best. Live-fire analysis of the new modified SMG in development for Germany's Bundespolizei GSG-9 division. Colonist Rick Tiplady discusses the history of a masterpiece, the 357 Python. Gun Control. Managing recoil through augmented cyber limbs for 50 caliber rounds and above. Our technology consultant looks at the next generation of non-lethal firearms, including the new gun out of Hong Kong's Connaught Technologies, the Pulsed Energy Projection System. On Location. This month, we join the Austin Police Department's Hostage Rescue Unit. We examine the latest advances in liquid matrix armor, the skull gun and other implanted firearms, real, fantasy, or nightmare. Op-Ed, why is it wrong to have a flamethrower? <laughs> Plus all our usual features and columns. Why is it wrong to have a flamethrower? It's a question we've all asked. And of course, it isn't wrong. Who doesn't want a flamethrower? <laughs> okay. So we're out of here. Anything else uh, interesting going out here? On out here in this sewery area? Oh look, a wall I can punch through. Well, hello, wall. <laughs> 200 XP Explorer bonus. And some credit chips. Thank you. Oh, ammo capacity upgrade. I don't need that. Cool. I hop down here. And where does this take me? Presumably there's a way out over here somewhere. Ah. Here's a keypad I can hack. Level one, they want to make it easy for you. There we go. That was easy. Access granted. Oh, wow, normal people. God. They should call in the National Guard or something. This is a state of emergency. Downtown is a war zone. The cops are doing what they can, but the precinct station is closed. Alright, so a bunch of hobos down in here. This is just the normal sewers with the normal hobos that I had uh, met before, right? So let's get out of here. And here I am, back outside of Derelict Row. 
And what is it that I need to do? Oh, I need to go to the roof of my building so that I can get flown back over to Seraph Industries so that I can talk to Pritchard and see if we can track down those signals from Megan and her team find where they are so I can go rescue them or re-kidnap them, whatever. <laughs> Ow, just got burned by some fire brilliantly. Back into my building. Excellent. Just go away. These people are still freaked out, right? From me uh beating up Wayne Haas. I hope they brought in enough police to handle the rioters. If you ask me, these idiots will use any excuse to destroy property. Any excuse, yes. Martial law, here we come. I guess we're about to find out if those rumors of a FEMA internment camp in Detroit are true. In fact, they are. Those cops probably have orders to round up everyone they can. Lock them up and throw away the key. They're, yeah, they're trying to get martial law going. Thank God I made it here before the riot started. Yeah, that is good. I wouldn't want to be out on the streets right now. And I wouldn't want you to be. Thank God Mr. Sarah sent some of his security here to watch the building. Actually, instead of thanking God, you could thank Mr. Seraph. I'd go up to my apartment, but I actually feel safer down here. Don't get don't get alarmed by this. I just wanted it in my hand. I don't know how it happened. One second it was a peaceful demonstration near the limb clinic. The next, people are running towards Seraph Plaza grabbing anything they could. That's how riots start. This is another black eye for us. What's up, Wayne? How are you doing? Taking a nap still, huh? To you live okay. From new news? I doubt it. No new news. All right, let's head up to the roof. Take the elevator. I don't think I have any real reason to stop off in my apartment that I can think of. So. And I guess I could come in here and see if... I like the way those those blinds open, though. That is really cool. And, like, the music that comes on when I come in my apartment. I could check if I have any new emails, but I really strongly doubt it. Yeah, I don't. Adam's apartment. Super cool. Thanks, computer voice. So this will take me up to the roof, right? Lengthy elevator ride to the roof. Here we go. Helipad. No problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under control. No problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under Glad control. Glad to hear it. Mr. Jensen, sure is good to see you. Mr. Seraph assigned us to watch the building. Hey, Mr. Jensen. What a night, huh? I made the round. Heard that. <laughs> Lazarus just called some hypothetical person a fuck knob on the radio. Everything's quiet here, Mr. Jensen. Nothing to worry about. Ah. And here's my ride. What's up, Malik? We've got the apartment building secured, boss. Mr. Seraph's orders. Looking out for his employees as usual. Excellent. Okay. Good stuff. It's taking one last. Oh! <gasps> It's a breakable wall right here. What? What is this? What the hell is all this? There's even a vent in here and everything. What is going on here? Wow. 
Secret stuff. What's that? Ammo capacity upgrade. Don't need it. Cool. Oh, I'm going to need this crate. Give me this crate. Take this crate over here. Set it down. Where is this going to take me? Oh, into a hidden shaft. I'll Icarus down to the bottom. Get some more XP for exploring. And... What's this? A credit chip of 615 credits. So this is just a nice little area with some free uh, free XP and and money. Ha, huh, nice. Random exploration areas just for the hell of it. How cool. I wonder if that was here before when I was on this roof. I don't remember seeing it. Well, I think that's about it. Okay. Let's uh let's get out of here. I'm on top of oh, the chopper. Can't stop the chop. Can't stop the chopper. Okay, so yeah, that was dumb. So what I'm going to do is get in here and get flown back over to Seraph. Do a save real fast before I do that. All right, let's do it. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? You bet I am. Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. Ooh, and I got a praxis point. Awesome. The dramatic stuff music has started. There we go. We're flying back over to Seraph Industries headquarters, which is not a very long flight. A very short flight indeed. Back to the Seraph building. It has been a while since we were here. All that time in Hengsha, in Montreal, and all this stuff back in Detroit again, and we still haven't been to the Seraph building in a quite a long time. And now we're back. Oh yeah. Awesome. Hey, I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Meet Seraph in the penthouse, huh? Interesting. Just try to stay relaxed. The riot can last forever, but we'll be free to go soon. But my car! What if they vandalize it? I just got a new paint job! You'll be alright. Just be happy that you're safe. You have your health. That's all that's important. He's very oh, wise. Do you think the company would cover the damage? I doubt it. So we have the enlightened man and the materialist woman. One is Chinese. Huh, man, this building is really quite impressive looking. Don't worry, boss. Things are under control. Now, sure, we're surrounded by an angry mob, but they can't get in here. So you say. We'll have to hang tight in here until the riot outside disperses. I wouldn't want to go out there right now. You never know what a mob like that can do. Good point. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is end this video, because that's all the time I have for it. Thank you for watching. Josiah Plays, Deus Ex, Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.